Hello everybody, I'm Dark Marley Luigi and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Amnesia, a machine for pigs. And um, I'm continuing in this chamber room, which is quite exciting, I must say. All right. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Okay, he's simply gone insane. No other words to it. I'm not going to go there yet because there's nothing really that useful there. So all we have to do is turn it on. to this is the upper center of this meddlings. This is where I began and this is where I will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction and then I will re-enter this sabotage and pretend once and for all. Alright. So there's one left and I know exactly what to do about that last one. Now we can go over down here and fix that. Fix that problem. Alrighty, go down the ladder. Here we go. Alrighty. And now, all we have to do is just pick that up and there we go. Problem solved. Easy as one, two, three. That is literally all you had to do. Seriously now. So easy. Climb up. Okie dokie. Let me turn this last one. Oh, turn it. There we go. Now everything's fixed. Everything's all fine and dandy now. Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride and forth upon these catwalks. I am coming, my darling. I am almost safe. You are safe. I can't really not talk that well, do we? I apologize for that. Hardly, hardly the air is through. Their little faces tell no madness. They suffocate. They suffocate. I'm not listening. Set them free. Set them all free. Oh no. Too bad. Really bad. That was not a good idea. I live. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path. To redemption! Where are my children? You promised me my children! My time is come! More pig! More pig! Okay, we did a very bad thing. Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Wow! So not creepy. So totally not creepy at all. Mendes Saboteur. Returning from Mexico, I was struck again by London's filth. The, the squalor, the miasma, the rat. We should cut free the, de the dead flesh, allow this wound to heal anew. 
pretty interesting stuff. We're getting really close now. Oh, I'll take you. No, I know you're just dead. You're simply dead. You've been dead from the start. And okay. emerging. I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone okay. egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Oh, pig mask. A lot of pig mask. Can a man construct himself on you? Can a man on realizing who he is and what he has become tear himself apart from the bricks of the beginning of the Are our souls just this tiny cogwheels and clockworks and the intricate machines to serve a function that upon reflection reminds that as can a man be found by his actions, defined by that which he can, he's now, he now finds it uh, abhorrent, set to, to sabotaging it. this body is machine, until the, the, those children of his soul turn to new motion, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century, with hope in his heart, as I reach my hands to the exposed waters, and I ask myself this, is redemption possible for such a creature as, as I, and if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Alright, feeling sorry for yourself. I get that. Oh man, I can't read it. So it is done. The saboteur was me. And the voice on the telephone was him. Help but what but what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. All I can grasp is the grasp of the moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fall from the orifice torn or gape into my open hibernated heart. I cannot read a lot of these words, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Landis? You know the answer. I'm gonna take these out. Take these out. Okay. Children really are the most wonderful and useful creatures. The unfortunates from the old man age have proved an indispensable in claiming the larger scene size. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may be vaporized at source. The drifts like dust through the air and blood larger than the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically we shut the pressure down and send one of our proceeds into the pods and scrub the reconstituted that away. Confirmed with just a shortened broom. Our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course we can only keep pressure for down for a short time period. So they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapor when they rush the back into the system. Then we will be sending the Earth's comrades and afterward the skirt free the, from the, the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them that like, I'm so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Next one here, is that it? No, that is all. That is not it. <coughs> oh man. All about me. The thunder of machinery, the blast of boiling steam. I cannot pass without fear of scalping. I'm lost to attract it. My circulation is stagnant. Made my vital motions and heated. The steam will boil my hole in the find a way to shut it off. I, I think I shut it all of it off. I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
Oh wow. Alright. I did it. Hooray. Finally. I just forgot that one thing. Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! Okay, now we're going down more. Oh, teddy bear. Hurt them. A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus. But it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! Okay. I cannot see. Oh! Okay. Fine, whatever. There's a spoon of medicine, I, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did to get it, born holding. Ever so painful for mommy and dear, but grasped so hard it was a, a little screaming red fist. Later you use your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico. And then you didn't eat worms with your spoon on the way to say, stay fat. This spoon was the same you, you, you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole into their clockwork soul. And you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mold where you will dig next. I ask and you and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children. And wrapped in the hair you de dearly departed. Dear sweet. My darling, what am I, what am I become? I don't know, I really don't know. Okay, alright, so what we have to do is we're just... Here we go! Seems there are pressure systems in the need to heal of the facility. Something I clearly did not realize in my first zombie attempt at, at sabotage. But we were out the same and I can reach... Then I can reach... Let's have it! Alright! The havoc we are going to do. Here we go. Well, yes, there is. There's more than one of these things. Obviously, we have to break them. Come on, break them. There we go. And there's going to be another one. Some form of steam regulator. I'll wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force a temporary stalling stalling this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Mendes, you clever old dove. I can feel this horror, horror, this grief, this betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be uh, undertrodden. If, if this machine is my heirloom, I am the Everman.
Indonesia and Machine for Pigs. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.